Hi everyone, my name is Behrouz. Today we are going to continue working our uh, blockchain project. In the last video I told you we are going to work on a transaction. But before we move on to the transaction and wallet, we need to save our blockchain to a database. Because right now, if you add a block to your blockchain, is going to be destroyed after the uh, program exit. So somehow we need to save all the block to a database. So what kind of databases are used by blockchain platforms? In my opinion, they use NoSQL databases or key value store databases because blockchain work like a linked list. And the way we are going to save our blockchain to database, we use a block hash as a key and the content of the block as a byte for value. After we mine a block, we are going to save them to a database with the hash of the block and byte of the block as a content. So, if you want to walk through the entire blockchain, you just need to access the previous hash and walk through to entire blockchain one by one. Before we move on, create an error file and move the result to the error because in the future we are going to customize error here. And then create another file for blockchain and move all things related to the blockchain to that file. So let's do it. We are going, going to copy here, actually cut. And import all necessary things for the blockchain. So we need to import block and also we need to access the result. We use carrots, arrows, and result. After that, we don't need a blocks field here. We just replace it with the two different fields, the current hash and the DB. And next, we need to do some changes in a new and add block methods. So first, we need to fetch data from database. So use this line of codes, we open a database. After that, we need to get the last hash from a database. So we use a match to fetch a last hash. If none, we need to create a Genesis blog and save them to the database. So let's fetch that. You create a Genesis block, insert them with the current hash, and also we serialize the block. And then we save a last hash of the current hash as a byte. Then we create a blockchain and flush the DB. If the last hash exists, we just need to fetch last hash and save them to the blockchain. We need to create another change. We need to pass the blockchain to the result. And also you need to return blockchain here after we create a Genesis block. We don't need the blockchain here. So all of the changes in new method is finished. Let's go to the add block. First, we need to remove this line because we don't have any access to blocks. So replace, we are going to replace with this. Uh, we need to access to the last hash for creating new block. So for new block, you just need to, uh, you don't need to access the get hash function from the previous block because we don't 
uh, we we are here use the last hash from the database so just replace with this line okay then we need to insert a new block to uh to database so we are remove this line and replace it with this we use a db to insert a new block and also here we use a bind code to serialize a new block and then we save the last hash to the database as a byte then we access we put the uh, new block hash to the current hash of the blockchain and return okay so after these changes we can't uh, print to blockchain because we use a database and we don't access to entire blockchain so we need to uh, create a iterator to walk through entire blockchain let's do it we are going to create a new structure for our iterator so let's do it and we create a struct for blockchain iter uh, we use a two field current hash and also we need the share references of the our blockchain then we are going to use iterator for walk through entire blockchain so let's do it let's get rid of this row return none to walk through entire blockchain we need to access the current hash to fetch data from database so we access the current hash from the blockchain nature it's really easy you just need to we use the if let to get the access of encoded block then we need to use a match from encoded block to check if encoded block have some data we just need to deserialize the data so let's do it and it's really easy we check the encoded block if we have some data we just need to deserialize to the block after that we pass the get previous hash from the decoded block and then return a block here if we couldn't find and or if we have an error we just return a none so our iterator is finished to access the blockchain iterator we need to create another method to pass the current hash and share references of the blockchain okay let's do it we create an iter function we return a blockchain iter we pass the current hash we need to clone of the current hash and also we uh, pass the references of the current blockchain you need to you need to add the clone as a drive to the blockchain okay we need to write some tests to test our iterator and print all of the blockchain let's do it i already wrote that so uh, we just need to scroll down and uh, run it okay let's before run check our code we have uh, some error let's uh, fix all of them we need access target hex because we remove it unfortunately use the cons type is u size and the value is 4 let's check we miss a spell new block here and for serialize and deserialize we need to pass the serialize and deserialize to the block as a drive so serialize and deserialize so we need to import the serialize said link serialize and deserialize let's check okay 
get previous hash so we need to here we need to write uh, another method for get previous hash it's really easy you just need to return self dot previous like hash and clone make sure you have to pass a clone to the block and let's check again uh, we don't need to create new blockchain we need to use a new and unwrap it let's run it okay let's see as you can see entire blockchain are printed and already uh, we don't have any error let's run the test Okay, we don't have any error. Turbo action are printed. So far, so good. I want to create a command line tools for entire blockchain. I want to create a blockchain with the command line tools, add a block, and also print entire blockchain. We need another file to create CLI command so we create a CLI file and create another struct we pass a blockchain here we need to implement some methods for CLI first we need to create a new CLI let's do it we implement a new we return a CLI so also for get rid of the this error we need to import use uh, result here so we use the caret errors and result to complete our command line tools we need another method let's create that after we create a method we need to add some details from the CLAB library to access the command line tools CLAB is a great choice so let's do it we use the command new to add some title for command line tools, add a version, author, and some details about the program. After that, we use a sub command to create our command. We need the two command print chain and add block. Print chain as has one argument, data, because we want to pass the data to create a new block. After we create our command, we need to check the which command is called. We use the if let sum to check the commands. If we have a add block from command line, we get the data and we use the add block to create new block. So let's add new method here then if the print chain called we call the print chain so far so good i think uh, our command line tools right now is complete so uh, we need to write some tests uh, to check the CLI command we are going to use a main to start a command line tools we just uh, create a new CLI run it and return ok as a result let's test the command line tools we are going to the terminal and first let's print the chain gonna take some times okay as you can see the our blockchain is empty because I delete the data so Genesis block is created if we add a new block for example this is the test block and run the command and print a chain again as you can see we have a two block in our blockchain for this video is enough and next video we are going to talk about transaction how we can create a transaction so have a good day take care of yourself